Hi, I'm going to teach you how to play Wicked Little Town from Hedwig and the Angry Inch. The song basically consists of three parts, and it's probably the first part that is the most challenging. And there's a little variation on the first part at the end of it. I'm going to play it first and then talk about it. So it's the first three strings, and it's the seventh fret G string, the fifth fret, <coughs> excuse me, the fifth fret B string, and the seventh fret E string in this pattern. And the second time around, you drop from the seventh fret to the sixth fret on the G string, same rhythm, same pattern with the right with the picking hand. Then from there, and that is a very tricky shift, but you have to jump down to make a C chord with the 5th fret G string, 5th fret B string, and 3rd fret E string. Same rhythm with the picking. It's, it's skipping back and forth with the strings, which is something you have to do properly for this song to sound right. And then you jump down and make a D chord, only it's a D suspended fourth. Your pinky is on the third fret of the E string. Keep the ring finger placed though. Keep the ring finger, ring finger on the second fret of the E string, but also have the pinky on the third fret. And then immediately with an upstroke of the pick, so it's This is where I was saying about skipping the strings with the pick is important because you're basically going back and forth from the D string open E string and third fret D string so you have the whole thing when you put it together is You can see where at the very end of some of the measures, I don't have the transition perfect. One thing I do usually to make it a little easier is instead of playing the E at the end of the first figure, instead of playing the E on the B string at the fifth fret, I play the open E string. Playing the open E string allows me to move my hand down and get ready for this. Whoops. So I go. And I usually just leave a rest at the very end to get my hand down for. And, I, and there's a transitional note, an open B string, which is not really in the chord, but it's not ugly. So. and rains and black and cloudy skies. <clears throat> Whoops, sorry. Frog in my throat. The second part of the song, the running up and down that hill, is really easy because it's just strummed chords. It's a G7. Running up and down that hill. And that's a C. <clears throat> just a C major. And now it goes to C minor, which you have to play as a bar chord because there's no open way to play a C minor. So you got to jump your hand up from C major. And this is your choice, really. You can play it as a bar chord, a G. You go from C minor to a G. You could also play an open G chord. The main thing is to come in strong. And if you've got no other choice, you know you can't follow my voice through 
the dark turns in noise of this freaking little town. And right back to the beginning. Maybe luck has led you here. And they're so twisted up, they'll twist you up by fear. And I get a little sloppy sometimes with the strumming. But as long as the rhythm is there, the very strong A lot of skipping strings with the pick hand. That's the trick to playing this song. It's all about When you're sitting in front of the television and you got your guitar, maybe your electric one with no amp, and you just practice that with your right hand. And before you know it, you'll be playing this song. And then the middle part, so that's the, the verse and the kind of chorusy thing. <clears throat> they do those twice. And then it just goes to an A chord in the middle. So after, after the second chorus, to an A. And that big falsetto part in the C. That's the one part I didn't tell you about. From To make that kind of scary sounding, sad sounding part, instead of going from a C to the happy D chord. You go, and then you release your pinky and have the middle, the middle finger playing the fourth fret of the B string. The other two fingers stay the same, and it's the same pattern. Pinky, fifth fret, high E string, and then move the pinky up to the sixth fret, high E string, and on the pick hand, it's upstrokes. See how they're upstrokes. The sound of the upstroke really works well with that. I, I, that's my opinion. And then right back to <laughs> the fates of Fates are vicious and they're cruel. Remember the skipping of the strings. And even if you don't play them perfectly, the rhythm is still there, and, it, and then you just slide back up. that covers it. Oh yeah, at the end of it, I just do a kind of a combination of the two songs from the soundtrack. Um, I just think it resolves well to end on a G. Whoops. It's just, you know, E, D, C, B, A, G. And that, my friends, is Wicked Little Town. Good luck. Have fun. Bye.